these days. I want to talk about you as a younger entrepreneur. How did you first get started in this space? You know, we all have our different stories. For a lot of people, it was social media. What, what was it for you? How did you try to get your own foot in the door? Yeah, so I was doing, I was always doing lots of like small, like little things to try to make money. Um, like just make money online. Like I was, you know, 15, 16, like any kid who's like really motivated to, to, to make money. I was just figuring stuff out. So I, I would do all sorts of weird stuff. I was like, I remember for a while I was like installing in like 2015 when like Bitcoin was really hot 2016, I was installing like Bitcoin mining software on people's computers and like taking a royalty of like what they like of what the software mined. And I was doing a lot of like different weird things, but the way I started with what I do now was basically on social building pages. And the reason I got into building pages was basically I learned about like, like e-commerce, right. And people were selling stuff online, but I didn't have any money. So I was like, okay, how am I going to sell products without, without having to rely on ads converting? Right. Because I don't have like capital to invest into ads. And I also don't know how to run ads. Right. I didn't have like that runway to figure out how to do it. So my solution was like build these organic followings on social and figure out how to build like organic traction essentially, and then leverage that to, to drive traffic to like a point of sale of some sort. So I was building like niche specific pages, right. Um, in, in different spaces, trying to drive traffic to like different products. Um, it works okay. Um, it's, I, I essentially like, I, I was I was young and didn't really have a ton of resources, so I decided like I'm not going to build the next like big like product like consumer product brand. So I turned that into like a digital agency where I was just trying to like essentially like internally manage pages for uh, companies and stuff, and did okay. Like made a, a little bit of money, but like not didn't do super well. And then eventually like pivoted that into um, essentially like closed that shop down um, and it's kind of like, there's a weird timing around it. So basically I had that, that company, I ran into those issues. I ran into some issues with scaling because managing company, managing pages internally is something that you can't really scale past a certain point because then you have to like teach someone how to do it. Right. right. So what I was, so what I, I was running into these scalability issues. Then I also like co-founded this app at the same time in high school. And I really liked the tech scene and like startups and like that sort of world. So I basically decided to pivot and I was trying to build out resources that would make me like an asset to a tech startup without being a VC or an engineer. So I was like, okay, how do I do that? Well, it's growth, right? So I had like access to pages, but I was like, okay, I need more. So I started building relationships like PR and like different sorts of, you know, ways that I could like help with like user acquisition or like data or like, um, like lead generation, stuff like that, where I could try to be like sort of like a growth hacking type, like person that could help provide that that value to to a company like that and then it turned into just me building a lot of a lot of like useful like resources and like a book of services that i could provide and i found a lot of people that weren't tech oriented that that wanted those services and then that turned into just getting more and more clients and growing and growing and growing and then it turned in, turned into a company 